Hello dear friends and family. It has been a little while since I have given you an update, and life has been busy. My son Ollie had a pool party birthday in early December, and all three kids were involved in Christmas concerts. My brother and family came to bless us with their joyful presence for Christmas. My son Malcolm chose to be baptized on Christmas Eve. After Christmas, Toby and the kids got to go on their first vacation in several years. They went to the Ark Encounter Museum in Kentucky and the Creation Museum with Toby's parents for several days. I have been keeping myself busy with an online course on education, but I don't think I will be able to finish it, sadly. I appreciated the challenge and thinking more deeply about teaching how to think. My brother and sister-in-law got me a membership to Classical U, and I am looking forward to exploring that too. Last week, I started some counseling and coaching through email with Bonnie Renstrom of Willow Life Coaching and Counseling. It was intense. I enjoyed the sessions, found them helpful, and look forward to doing it again in a few weeks. I found Bonnie online. She doesn't usually offer services through email, but she was willing to make an exception due to my communication limitations. I'm thankful that she took that risk. I appreciate understanding myself and my past better, and look forward to gaining new tools to help me live well and have better relationships. Lately, I have been making sure we are prepared in the event of my death. I bought my casket, and I have been trying to find a place that would do a sculpture for my headstone. If any of you have leads, please share. We still need to buy our plots, it will be in the same country graveyard as Toby's great-grandparents, near where we used to live before I got ALS. To some people, this type of planning might seem morbid, but we all have an expiry date and I like having things organized. It makes me feel good to not have loose ends. What I have been pouring myself into over the past few weeks has been making books for each of my kids. The books will have lots of photos, and I just finished collecting them. I start with their birth stories, what qualities I see in them in particular, spiritual advice, general advice, and then I will close with my hopes for their lives. I'm excited to finish and give my kids their own books. The more I think about it, the more I can see how I would have loved a book like that. I think everyone would benefit from such books. I'm excited to hopefully finish in the next few months. I promised my Facebook friend Celine Icking that I would say hello in an update. Hello Celine. I hope you are doing well. And, because I haven't been busy enough, I am attending Tony Robbins' Time to Rise Up free live streamed conference for the next few days from 1 to 4 p.m. Central U.S. time. I'm looking forward to hearing his ideas on how to live my best life. Fun times. Through all of this, I have found that it is becoming more and more difficult to open my eyes at night, and I have had junk clouding my eyes that needs to be wiped away every few hours or it impedes my vision. If my eyelid muscles continue to deteriorate, that will strongly affect my quality of life as I will not be able to communicate my needs so that I stay comfortable, and I will be unable to interact with the people I love that surround me. I have registered for Elon Musk's Neuralink trial, but I have not yet been selected. So I hope to explore the capabilities of OpenBCI. I like their non-invasive system. Hopefully it is powerful enough to enable communication. When I am done with the kids' books, that is where I will next invest my time. If you are looking for someone to pray for, pray that God would allow the newly transplanted heart of baby Gus to work strongly and inflammation in his body to reduce so that he can endure coming off ECMO. If you want to follow Gus' progress, you can find at Mark underscore Schubert on Twitter. And that, folks, is why I have gone dark during December and January. I've been super busy. Friends, may God bless you where you are, guide you, and reveal his love to you. Bye for now.